Hello, I'm Evan with New Life for Old Bikes. Last week we had a successful test ride on my 1976 Huffy Independence. This has been our project for the past month. We've rebuilt the entire bike and today we're going to do some cosmetic work. We're going to go ahead and change the handlebar tape. Right now it has a foam grip on it which is nothing short of crusty. Because of the condition of this handlebar foam, I'm not going to try to save it and I'm simply going to use a razor blade and cut it off. If you have handlebar tape, there's a tape wrap at the end right here. Just cut it and unwind the tape. There. Before installing our new bar tape, we're going to clean up any residue with a razor blade and rubbing alcohol. If there was surface rust on the bars, I would clean that with a little bit of steel wool first. If your brake handles have safety levers on them, you need to remove them now so we'll be able to wrap the bars. If there's a screw in the end, just loosen it and pull the lever off. There's also a grommet in there and a washer. Make sure you take them so you don't lose them. The other thing to remember is there's a spring inside here. If it's loose, take it out. If it's tight, don't worry about it. The next thing I'm going to do is wrap the end of the bar with some double face tape. On the top of the bar, I want to come about a half an inch back from the end of the bar and wrap some tape around that as well. This is where our bar tape is going to end when we finish wrapping and this will help hold it down in place. Next, I'm going to peel off the backing paper on the double face tape. This, by the way, is a pain in the neck to do.
This particular bar tape has a thin bead of double face tape on the inside to hold it in place. Make sure you start your tape off at an angle from the inside and overlap. Make sure you pull it tight as you go. Once you've reached the end, make sure you cut it so that the seam is on the bottom. The last thing we want to do is put on the finishing tape. We're going to peel the backing off the finishing tape and go in the same direction that we went with the bar tape. You want to wrap this at least twice around. go. Cut it off at the bottom where you won't see it. Once you're finished, simply cut the bar tape off on the bottom. And insert your bar plug. Next we're going to do the other side. Just like the first side, we're starting it off at an angle and we're going to make sure to overlap. Take your time and make sure you get it nice and even. I want you to notice I've put in a small piece here just in case I'm not able to cover it up. And I'm glad I did that because that worked out very nicely. Next, just like the other side, I've peeled back the backing on my finishing tape and I'm going to run it forward. There 
we go. Last thing we're going to do is trim off the tape at the bottom here and then insert the bar plug. At this point, I'm going to reinstall the safety levers on my brake handles. I'm first putting down the washer. I've reinstalled the plastic grommet on the back of the safety lever. Slide it into place. I've got the lock washer on my screw. And we're going to tighten it down. Perfect. Other side, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Install the washer. The grommet is inside the safety lever already. Put the lock washer on the screw. and tighten it down. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, like and subscribe.